been in ministry myself a few years, just about 44 years. So, felt led to really know that I'm coming to the house that the hand of the Lord was upon. So I checked him out myself, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I went online, it wasn't the miracles, it was the spirit of grace and humility that I saw in him. And God said to me, he is my son. He walks after my counsel. I'm here because God told me to come. He told me the man in the house is truly a man after his heart. And I want you to know you are in the right house. Tell two or three people you are in the right house. You are in the right house. Celebrate him. I want you to put your hands together. Let's appreciate. Let's bless the Lord for him and his wife. Come and give God a praise. plane thinking I'm tired let me sleep then the Lord brought apostle Alf to my spirit and I saw the Lord speaking to me saying tell him it's not just building a church you will build an institution and I said Lord what does this mean he said, it's the work that speaks for generations. Mm. My God. If anyone thinks this work will pack up after some time, they are making a mistake. Generational anointing will rest on this house. Generational grace will rest on this house. That institution will be built. The finance will come. I even see, I see one or two men who don't even worship here. I saw one or two of them say, oh, you're building such a thing you didn't tell us. And they were writing checks like a million dollars. These things will come to pass and it won't be long. Somebody scream, it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. Never take for granted. And get ready, presiding bishop of this house, because what took some people 10 years, God will give you in 10 months. What took some people 10 years, God will give you in 10 months. Some will be shocked at your speed. They will be trying to wonder and investigate where is he getting? the finances from where 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 but while they are searching you will be building and if you think you've seen anything you haven't seen anything yet you have not seen anything yet. what I see in my spirit you have not seen anything yet get ready this place is going to be a place for all nations there's another word I hear a place for all nations. A river will flow out of this place. That will go to nations and bring healing. Bring healing to them. Bring healing to them. And bring healing. Bring healing. The Bible says as arrows are in the hands of a mighty man. So are children of youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver. Full of them. They shall not be ashamed. What does that mean? If you have officers with guns outside, the bullet in their gun, the distance was fixed when it was manufactured. But you see, an arrow can only go as far as who is shooting it. So listen, 
When God wants you to go far, he puts you in the hand of a mighty man so that he can launch you very far. You are in the right house. You will go far. I declare again, you will go far. I said, you will go far. You will go far. You will go far. Shout amen three times. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Be seated. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Such a great honor to be here. And I pray the Lord that you will be blessed. In the brevity of my time of ministry, your life will never be the same. You will have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm just going to pray for these people. I'm not going to ask you to come out because of time. There's somebody here today. They told you there is a lump in your breast just stand up if you are the person i don't want you to come out prayer from here will touch you because of time there's a second person here they told you you have fibrosis if you are the one stand up i'm gonna pray for you and god will heal you the third set of persons you can't give birth they said it is because of congenital problem. The Lord showed you to me. If you are the one, stand up. I'm going to pray for you because of time. I'm not going to ask you to come out. It's the first night of the convention. So the, of the conference, the first speaker should not make you stay so long and you miss the other days. You have to come every night. Praise the Lord. And then lastly, there are some people here for days in the week now. You've carried a migraine, those kind of headaches that stay for days. If you are the one, just stand up. I'm going to pray for you. All these people standing. So I'm going to start with all the points I've called so that we can confirm that what the Lord showed me, you are here tonight. If you're the one with fibrosis, wave your hand at me. Okay, fibrosis. I'm going to pray for you. God is about to give you a testimony in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you are the one with the lump in the breast, wave your hand at me so I know you are here. I'm going to believe God for your healing. Wave properly. Did I see a man waving his hand? <laughs> I'd like to check you up, brother. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> and then, um, if you are the one who has migraine, that headache that stays for days, let me see your hand. I want you to believe God that you'll be healed tonight. Remain standing, remain standing. Just one or two testimonies. And then I'm going to pray with you. Anointing is dissipated in words. <sighs> Even where you are, healing will touch you. And you'll never be the same. I was preaching in Lagos, Nigeria. Covenant Christian Center. As I was driving to the church, the Lord showed me that you pray for various issues and one of them was whole in the heart when i got there and made the announcement i did not know they were running eight days conference four sessions every day that's a lot of sessions during the break two brothers outside eating their older brother called them and said doctors have just told me i have a hole in my heart and then i come in that night and i prayed but the one that touched the church and went wild on social media was that when i announced hole in the heart there was a woman in the church whose baby took 10 years to come she waited on god for a baby for 10 years when the baby finally came he had two holes so the doctors told her well you don't have, we don't have the facilities for handling your son here in nigeria you have to go to india for operation and then i come and i announced hole in the heart and i prayed that day simple prayer and the woman went to the doctors check my son man of god i've prayed he is healed the man the, 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 the doctor said madam you need to do this operation she said check my son they brought out the old scan two holes did a new scan no hole somebody give jesus a clap of Two years ago, I 
years ago for my no last year for my sons in paris icc they have churches across across the french world now they came under me when they had 90 people they now run a large 4,000 member church in paris is like one million in africa each and then with another 23 branches across france and in 25 french african nations but last year when i went for their conference the lord led me to pray for people who are partially deaf seven people who could not hear with one particular ear their ear opened last month i was in malawi went hey they are here praise god i said praise the lord it's in bingo international conference center called out people who needed healing suddenly says is there anyone here who can't hear with one of the ears or two people one lady before i said who shall i call forward the lady ran forward can't hear deaf in one ear for 15 years the ear opened 100 percent i share the testimony tonight so that you will know that where you're standing i don't have to lay hands on you i could have laid hands but i'm very conscious of time i want to exegete some story tonight from the bible because it's going to bless you and that's why i just want to pray for you where you're standing i believe god to heal you i believe god to give you a testimony and those ones who were told you can't have a child march last year went to preach in kicc togo a branch in togo made i forgot that our pastor there and his wife have been waiting on god for a child for seven years and uh i just said how are your children then i remember it that night i could not sleep kept crying to god you've got to give them a child lord last day of the meeting they knelt down with before me with a seed as i laid hand on them i saw a boy and i said to the husband and wife if i be a prophet of god then this word i give to you will come to pass you will have a child and he will be a boy it was march 2017 they had the baby in, in december exactly nine months later a baby boy tonight everyone standing when i pray i want you to say amen like thunder and if you have any other health issue that i didn't mention you could stand up with them because god will give you a testimony same church i mentioned covenant christian center i just said lord and the other health issues you didn't show me heal them a young lady went to check her hiv status she had hiv and when she went to check they couldn't find it then she went to the second laboratory and to the third clear clear until she went to seven i mean seven is too much come on are you ready for your healing i said are you ready for your healing is that a c sharp huh now give me a c sharp Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the sea shop. We're in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, the rain. Let fall on me. Thank you, Jesus. We're in your presence. Send the rain. Oh, the rain. Let it fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates. Hey! And cause your rain to 
Jesus, I release healing virtue on this man and woman. I command total healing tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. 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 Be free in the name of Jesus. Every health issue that I did not mention, you, Jesus, paid for it. I command healing in the name of Jesus. I rebuke sickness and disease. I command total deliverance. Victory in the house testimony in the house let the one who cannot walk begin to walk let the one who cannot see begin to see let people begin to move their body let fiber dry up let healing be done let testimonies follow let your name be glorified let your people go home totally whole break the power of migraine Lose your people. Set them free today. Victory in the house. Testimony in the house. Healing in the house. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.